Hey, hey, in this episode, we are going to talk about what it truly means to be self-led and why it's the cornerstone of everything we do with our clients inside of Rise Leadership Circle. Thank you guys for being here. My name is Lisa Limita. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I am one of the co-founders here at Rise Leadership Circle, and we're on a mission. Our mission is to really expand you into owning new levels of your value, your power, your worth, so that you can become well-paid and live a prosperous life. So let's go ahead and jump into this episode. At the time that you guys are seeing this, we will have just finished the Joy Challenge, which was a week-long challenge of helping you cultivate more joy in your life and really seeing that it's the place to create from, not the place that we ultimately work to get to, but we get to experience more of that joy in our lives right now. So today I wanna talk about self-leadership because as I said, it really truly is the cornerstone of everything we do. And what I mean when I say becoming self-led is really deciding. It's a decision that you make to lead yourself through whatever challenges, whatever adversities get in your way so that you can become who you're truly meant to be. This is really about being an owner in your life. So we talk a lot about ownership mindset and ownership mindset is seeing yourself as the owner of your life instead of seeing yourself as the victim. When we're in a victim mindset, it puts us in a place of feeling like there's nothing we can do, right? It's like, well, this is just my circumstance. This is just what I've been given and I have no power. There's nothing I can really do to get out of this. I'm stuck here, right? That's when we're really tapped into a victim mindset. An ownership mindset is different. In that scenario, we don't control every circumstance in our lives, right? There are things that can happen in life, which we have no control over, but it's choosing that no matter what circumstance that you are up against, no matter what challenge you're up against, understanding that you have the ability to lead yourself through it. So this is not about just bypassing and getting into happy emotions and manifesting your way out of it. It's about how am I going to lead myself through when a challenge comes? You know, it's doing the work of being willing to feel it all. We've talked about that quite a bit here. And that's the essence of self-leadership. It's the ability to really be with the big emotions. So when a challenge comes, if you're a self-led person. When a challenge comes your way, instead of freezing, instead of wanting to just go back to bed and put your head under the covers, you're going to be willing to rise to the occasion and know that like, okay, I can lead myself through any emotion. I'm willing to feel the discomfort or the pain or whatever it is that I'm being asked to feel so that I can move through this. I'm willing to feel disappointment. That is where we really get to see what we're really made of. We get the learning, we get the growth. So when I'm working with my clients, we talk a lot about soul lessons and soul assignments. That's just the language that I like to use. So I feel like here on this human journey, I love to call it earth school. I feel like we're all in earth school. We're here to grow. We're here to become the best versions of ourselves. And When we experience challenges, you know, those are the moments where we really find out who we are and we really find out what we're made of. And so I feel like for a long time, millennia, probably on this planet, there's been sort of this belief up until, you know, recent years that the answers existed outside of us. The answers were in the government or the answers were in some sort of external authority. And in the work that we do, it's not to say that we can't use all those resources or that all of those resources are negative or bad or wrong. That's not what I'm saying, but it's actually helping you tap into your own truth, your own answers, your own alignment. So when I'm coaching with someone, you know, coaching really isn't about giving advice. It's not about, um, giving you the answers, that would be more of a consulting role. In true coaching, we are just really guiding you to discover your own answers within, to learn how to lead yourself, to discover how powerful you truly are. And that's the place where we really, really find alignment. You know, the word alignment is thrown around a lot. You need to be in alignment. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people maybe don't even quite know what their alignment truly is. And we don't discover that until we do the work of self-leadership, because this is the place where we discover what's true for me. What do I believe? You know, you guys, I share a lot about my spiritual beliefs because it's such a foundational piece of who I am, but I never share it because I expect you to believe what I believe, I share it because I'm in alignment. I'm just speaking my truth. I'm communicating in the way that, you know, is true for me. 
And my role is to help you discover what's true for you. So you may believe something completely different than I believe, or you may not even be spiritual at all. And that's okay. We have people inside of our community who are of all different faiths, all different walks of life, and even people who you know, are more agnostic and not really sure what they believe. That's all beautiful. And the reason it works so well inside of our community is because it's consistently about you discovering what's true for you and being the best version of you. So I feel like you know, self-leadership is, it's this ability and this desire to decide that you're going to look through the lens of how is this happening for me? So often I can feel like life is happening to us or, you know, especially if you're moving through a season where it's felt like one thing after another, I've definitely had those seasons in my life where it's like, oh my gosh, it just feels like everything is happening to me at once. And we get really exhausted and we get tired in those moments. And it's the ability to take this lens of like, all right, what's the lesson here? You know, what's the sole assignment I'm on as I go through this journey of earth school? What am I meant to learn? And who do I want to be as I move through whatever challenge this is? How do I want to rise to the occasion? And that's the work I've been doing in my own life for quite some time. And it's been so messy at times. And you guys, it's still messy at times, right? It's we're all on this journey of earth school. And when we're sort of going through a period that looks a little messy or you know, is definitely bringing us challenges. This is one of the times when it's really powerful to tap into who do I want to be? Who do I want to be as I move through this? How do I want to show up? And another thing I like to say is, okay, when I get to the end of this, you know, if I look back a year from now, what do I want to be able to share about how I took this lesson on? How do I want to be able to help someone else who's moving through something similar? How can I share my story in such a way? And how can this elevate my growth as I move through this? So that's the essence of self-leadership. The other piece we do a lot of work on within our clients is emotional intel. And it's really being able to be with, as I was saying before, all of those big emotions failure and jumping into courage and being able to just be with the wisdom that we can only glean if we are willing to feel. And so it is the work of the courageous and the brave to be willing to feel. A lot of us have been taught not to feel. We've grown up, so to speak, in this sort of toxic masculine driven energy, patriarchal energy about, you know, put your feelings to the side. There's no crying here and showing up into the workplace as like a different version of yourself. And that's not really the work that we're doing here. This is about bringing in that fullness of who you are. It's about bringing your full self to your life, to your business. It's about being the truth of who you are in every moment and living with this authenticity. And it does require courage to do that. And it also is the most liberating, most free place that you will come to in this journey. So this is the work we do with our clients. This is the reason we created the circle. If you've ever been curious about how we work with our clients, we just opened the doors to the circle. And this is our membership community, which Kayla and I created after having a lot of conversations, after connecting with people and saying, what's the gap for you? What is the place that you're struggling to grow in your leadership or that you're struggling to grow in your business? And a lot of people told us self-sabotage was happening for them so often, or they were simply frozen in place and not taking those big actions and, and really frozen in fear. And we wanted to create a space where you could come in and dive into this work of self-leadership. And so we've opened the doors to the circle. We believe so much in one-on-one -on -one coaching. When you're part of our membership, you will get twice a month private one-on-one -on -one coaching and you get to be in our container for a year. Your membership for the entire year is less than $3,000. Right now it's an early bird at the time I'm recording this. So if you want for more information, the best place to go is to riseleadershipcircle.com and click on the work with us tab and then click on the circle. You'll find the most up-to-date information there whenever you're hearing this. Um, but if you're listening in real time, then we are currently still an early bird and you can access that. I'll also drop the links below so you can access from there. I want to tell you guys a little bit more about what happens inside the circle though, because I think it's really, there's something really unique to what we're doing. And it doesn't matter if you are a CEO, a leader, somebody who's already pretty far on your journey, or if you are brand new, there truly is something for everyone because 
This is the work of self-leadership. So you're going to be leading yourself through whatever you're currently moving through. So as I mentioned, twice a month, you'll get one-on-one coaching sessions with a private circle coach in our community. You'll also get weekly, what we call Zoom parties. It's an opportunity for us to be together as a community once a week on Zoom. And every week is something different. Uh, Kayla's live once a um, once a month and she does a money party. So we're going deep on, you know, all the inner game work around money so we can help you grow your wealth and do the inner work to be creating the life that you want to have. Once a month, I'm in there doing an expansion party. This is where we get to do the inner work, the self-leadership work. We're going deep on a different subject or a different topic all the time. And then we have connection parties where you get to show up once a month and be with just to connect with other people inside of our community, other high vibe, soulful entrepreneurs and leaders so that you can make friendships. Sometimes this is a bit of a lonely journey and this is an opportunity to make friends who are driven, who are excited, who are soulful, who want to do the same work in the way that you do. You can find people to collaborate with and just feel so much support within. And then we also do a monthly work party, which is where it's just show up. We're going to have some head down, get it done time together for an hour. You're going to get pocket coaching from Kayla and I Monday through Friday, you'll get a text which is just a quick one to maybe three minute little message of inspiration from us to just support you with jumpstarting your day. You guys, and really so much more. So less than $3,000 at the time that I'm recording this for the entire year of support, including private coaching. And if you want to know more, don't wait on this. Jump in while the doors are open and message me if you have questions. I'm happy to answer your questions, of course. So I hope this episode inspired you today to lead yourself through. So let me ask you this. What's the current soul lesson that you're moving through? Soul lessons are those lessons that seem to keep repeating, right? So you might ask yourself like, oh, I see why this thing is back around again. Maybe it's just in another form for me. What's the lesson I'm here to learn? And just by asking yourself that question, you're going to start to discover the answers or tuning into whatever emotions you're feeling. If you're moving through a challenge, instead of pushing down those tricky emotions, be with it. Ask yourself, what's the wisdom here? What am I meant to learn? Or what's this current assignment that I feel like I'm on on this version of earth school? And I hope this opens up something for you in terms of feeling empowered to really lead yourself. All right, you guys, if you're liking these episodes, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you never miss any of the goodness that we have to share with you guys here. And please let us know, comment below. Let me know if this made a difference for you. I will see you next time.